G'day, Doug back with another video on shorts permissions. And we now have what I would call a mother load of information direct from the mouth of YouTube. Camilla, in fact, from Team YouTube, a community manager has posted on the YouTube help support page. Now you already know about shorts permissions, this thing here is coming up in new videos and is on all your old videos. You may have noticed that it's only showing up on full length videos or longer videos. It's not showing up on shorts. We're gonna get into that amongst other things in a second. But I think we just need to dive into the article. Okay, on the screen you can see here, it says, introducing a new way to create shorts with audio from across YouTube, audio. Now, I might have pointed at this direction in the second video, which is the last video we did, where we talked about how we're very, very sure that we're sampling audio only, not video. This confirms it for us here as we go into it. We're gonna read the whole article. We're gonna do it in sections. Here we go. We recently introduced the ability for you to sample audio from other shorts. In the coming weeks, we'll start slowly rolling out to a small group of people in the US and India, the ability to sample audio from videos across YouTube so they can give their own creative spin on the content they love to watch and help find it a new audience. Now, similar wording to something that we referenced from March in the previous video. If you wanna check that out, make sure you check that out. I'm actually gonna link the playlist of all the short permissions videos I've done at the end of the video, you can check that out then. Just diving into that first paragraph, we recently introduced the ability for you to sample audio from other shorts. So that's already happening. You can already do that. If you have the shorts camera, you can sample audio from other shorts on the platform already. This is one of the reasons why if you go to your shorts in your content, you don't have the shorts permissions option because they're all automatically opted in because of the nature of shorts. There's some explanation there, some nuance. We'll go into that another time. It's not for this video. So in the coming weeks, they're rolling this out. So, so right now they're giving us the permission button to uncheck if we want to uncheck it. But obviously people don't have the ability to do it yet. So, so nothing's been given away. Nothing's been taken from anybody. It's something that is coming. And you can see why it hasn't been released yet because we're going to go into that as we hit some of the other points in the article. A very important question. I was gonna say the most important question. It's nearly the most important question. How does it work? If you're part of the initial rollout, you'll be able to create shorts using audio from other videos straight from the video watch page. That was intimated in the article we read in video number one, both for shorts and other videos you find on YouTube. To find out more details in the help center, audio from any eligible what makes it eligible? The box is checked. Audio from any eligible long form video on YouTube can be used to create a short. And every short that's made with your audio will be associated with your original video in a single shorts page, which is a great way for new audiences to discover and engage with your content. This is a very wordy way of saying that when somebody samples a piece of content for a short, that piece of content is linked to the original work by a page, they're calling it, a single shorts page. And there's a bit of an example of what it might look like in this picture right here. You can see at the top here, we have the original work, Catching Stars, A Rare Luna, I'm sure that's probably some sort of music. And basically they're saying, from this piece of content, all this other content that's listed here, which look like shorts because they're vertical, they are, were all made using the sound from this video. So it's gonna look something like that. And then there's an option for us to use the sound with a camera logo. I don't know why there's a camera logo. So that's what they're saying is, there's, there's gonna be some connection back to the original video. So it is looking like there's a possibility for you to be able to get credit by somebody being able to go back and see where did that sample come from? That's what it looks like. There might be some questions and nuance in that. Well, once that rolls out, 
and somebody is able to show us directly, we'll be able to get a better idea of how that's going to work. Now, these are some important questions now we're getting to that some people have had. What if I don't want audio from my videos to be used in shorts? This is a valid question. This is a question that creators have said they adamant they don't want their audio used or they don't generally want their content used for whatever reason they don't want it used that is your choice you have that choice let's read what it says if you want to opt out you can uncheck the shorts permissions box which we know it says allow people to sample this content while uploading your video or from the video editing settings in youtube studio We've seen that in, in the very first video we covered this in. This will also mute any existing shorts that have used your content, which there isn't, well there shouldn't be because the feature hasn't rolled out yet. In the coming weeks, we'll also add the option to bulk opt out. Ding, ding, ding. Check that box off your list. So those are saying, why is it there a bulk opt out? Bulk opt out's coming. As well as a set default upload settings. So then they're going to add it to the upload defaults so that you can say for all future videos, I want that box unchecked or I want that box checked. Whatever your preference is, you'll be able to set that in the upload settings. So I think that's a win all round, uh, a bulk tool to fix your existing videos. And you'll also be able to set your preference for future uploads automatically in the upload defaults. I think that's a big win for creators. That's a big win. You can't opt out of having your shorts audio used to create as a shorts, but you can always delete your video and this will mute the audio from other shorts that used it. Shorts are in that area where they not able to opt in or out. There's no option box on shorts videos. The shorts permissions isn't on a shorts videos. And I saw that for myself. I uploaded a short last night. It's not live yet. Still my channel unlisted. In the upload flow, there was no shorts permissions in my settings because it, it detected that that video was a shorts video. What does that mean? It's like, why can't I opt out of my shorts? And I think it has something to do with shorts not being monetizable. So there's not as big as an issue with people using that. And plus, if you look at platforms like TikTok and others, where they have these features where you can riff off other people's shorts, make responses, add your own flair, all that sort of thing. I think they call it duets, I believe, on TikTok. I don't have TikTok, so I don't know. All right. We hope this update will unlock a whole new playground of creativity for creators. To find out more about other updates to shorts, check out this post. Let us know your feedback in the comments below. And I think the one outstanding issue that people are wondering about now that some of these other questions have been answered is like a very broad question. What about copyright? What if my video has copyright music because I use music from Epidemic Sound? I've mentioned this, I think, in probably both the last two videos. What if it's a music of my own creation? I don't want them to use my own composition. In regards to the latter, I'll just say uncheck the box. In regards to the former, yeah, we need answers for that. Is it up to us knowing that we use music from Epidemic Sound or Soundstripe or Artlist or somewhere that we should go and uncheck the box and make them not available to sample? Or is there something else that's going on? Or is YouTube going to have a feature that is going to uh, discern through Content ID that this music is copyright so it's not eligible to be used in shorts or, or something to that effect? Or are they going to go out and, and get mass permissions for the, its use on shorts by anybody. That remains to be seen. We have no idea what YouTube is going to do in that part. So that's the biggest mystery. The whole thing surrounding copyright issues. The other thing I want to ask you now is, are there other questions you have? Apart from the unknown copyright issues, what are your other questions? What are your unanswered questions so far about this shorts feature and shorts permissions? let me know in the comments of this video because if there's questions i want to maybe compile them and see if there's people i can ask about them and get answers let me know what are your thoughts now are you warming to people being able to sample audio to make new shorts from your content are you going to bulk opt out or are you going to just stay opted in what are your thoughts are you waiting on the answer for the whole copyright question before you decide. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later. 
Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.